Yeah. Did she perceive correctly? Yes or no? So, so that you heard my first yes answer. No question. Did she okay, perceive Jack, correctly? I think Jack yes is no? coming unhinged. Okay. I think there's a, a bigger so, problem looming once he concedes that um, that Adam and Eve did have direct revelation from God, and presumably um, God is infallible. He couldn't have fail, failed to convey that message to them. So then it follows that um, they couldn't have been deceived by the serpent. Eve could not have been deceived, right? Given that God is infallible, and He intended that Adam and Eve, that Adam or at least Eve would understand the consequences of eating of the tree. That's the that's the problem. That's the bigger problem, right? Once you can see that they've had direct revelation from an infallible God. And what do you say about that, Justin? I'm not really understanding the connection. You're saying if they had direct revelation from God or spoke to God directly to his face, that therefore they could not be deceived? Yes. No, that's that. No, that's not the case. Just like but how I can get God direct fallible? like information from you. Is God fallible in your view? No, God is not. And God is not fallible. Did we he, are. Okay, did we're he, fallible. Did they know? Did he intend? Did, they know he was infallible? did he intend that that Eve and Adam understand the consequences of eating of the tree? Was that his intention? Yes, God is. That was his intention. Okay. Well, then, how was it that he failed? It, no, it wasn't a, it, listen, it, it wasn't a failure. It was a matter of opinion. It is obedience that he sought. Not robots. No, they, they would have known that the I, I said I said don't do I said don't do this, but you can do that. Now what are you gonna no, do? God infallibly, right? He's infallible. And he intended that they understand the consequences. Of eating of the tree. Okay, so I, 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 on, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this, right? Let me right? get this out real quick. Oh, I'll be quick. So he. Oh, intends... you good? Go ahead. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Sorry. Sorry. He intends that they understand the consequences. He is infallible. They have direct revelation from God. They couldn't be deceived. They would have known that what the serpent had to say, what the serpent said to Eve, was false. So why would they have eaten? I mean, it would have just been a completely irrational thing to do i mean it would be inexplicable how would you explain why they would eat from the tree and be deceived or eve at least yeah i mean uh, that's what i don't understand like um presumably they're designed with fully functioning or perfectly functioning moral perceptive cognitive faculties right so they can reason correctly they can perceive correctly. Um, so I, it just seems totally impossible, given those conditions, that they could um, be mistaken in thinking that something was good when it was not. How That's could they right. acquire that belief? If, if 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 I may, man, um, I said this uh, in in another room earlier to a young man, right? So, Adam was given a job upon being put in this garden, right? And that job was agriculture. He learned how to grow crops. He learned how to prune trees. He learned how to pick fruit. How to grow trees. He learned how to draw from the earth what the earth had to offer, right? What are the chances that this is exactly the tools he needed for the curse that was placed on him once he ate the fruit? Now, all of the worky worky I had you doing in the garden, learning, now you have to do that to eat, to survive. And since you followed her with the fruit, you got to take care of her. So you're not just working for you, you're working for her, right? So, and Adam learned the things in the garden and you can see through his sons, Cain and Abel, what he learned about the livestock, which was in the garden. Yeah. Abel took uh, uh, heed to, and what he learned of the agricultural, of receiving what the earth had to offer. Yeah, this is not, Cain. Yeah, this Cain is not an answer, 
What is no, that going to do? What I said. See, it's not. It, it was not a. What do you mean? Okay, so if he was talking, I didn't. I didn't. Question. What question did you ask? I I cannot answer that question. I didn't even know you were talking to me. I thought you were talking to Brother Daniel. I was asking, how is it possible that given that they were designed to have perfectly functioning cognitive, moral, perceptive faculties, that they could have made the mistake of thinking that something was good when it was not? Do you actually think he's going to understand and answer this question? I can understand that. No, not him, the other guy. Okay, so simple. Okay, so simple. So God is infallible. Man is not infallible. So he made man with, of course, finite knowledge. We can actually um, use, we can actually uh, rationalize with the information that we do have. And if someone throws in new information in there or something that could be a lie, we would have to either make a choice to believe it or not believe it. So Adam and Eve, or at least Eve in this situation, talking to the serpent, she gets new information. And the information could be true or false. She decided to have faith in that false information that the devil gave to her. So that's what made it a deception. So it was a a matter of choice. She made the choice to believe the devil with her rationale thinking, well, maybe this is true. So then she decided to believe it. And that's how she was deceived. What explains why she decided that? Well, I mean, just uh, the desire. I mean, it could just be anything from... I take it that by a desire, you mean that she thought that it was better to believe it than not, right? Well, at that point, she, like yeah, she, she thought decided. It was, she thought it was desirable to believe it. Yeah, which was a, a, a mistake. Right. So I'm asking, how did she acquire the belief that it was desirable? Well, the, the text says that the tree or the, the fruit itself, it seemed... Um, you know, desirable to eat to make someone wise. So she was looking at her sense or using her senses. She thought, okay, this doesn't, this isn't, har- this isn't harmful. This is harmless. And then with that, she made the mistake of actually trusting in what she sees rather than what God said. So that was it. That, that, that a rational person can make a wrong decision with good rationale, but yet her rationale mis- misstepped when she said, you know what? I'm going to trust this over God. That's a failure of rationality. Well, yeah, that's that. Yeah, you can fail in your. That's why I said that yeah, man I'm is asking, fallible. I'm asking, yeah, I'm asking what explains the failure of rationality in that well, case. She, well, so that's hmm. the thing. I said, so there's different levels of rationality. So when I mentioned from the beginning that God is infallible, but man is fallible, now you can at least. Understand that man can fail. So th- this idea that oh well they fail. I'm they asking can't what fail. explains. I'm asking what explains the failure. I just said it. She just de- she decided her choice. No, I'm asking why she chose that. Right? It's not an answer to the question why did she choose it to say you that she chose it. Right? You can't fully explain a person's choice in an infinite degree. So you're, you so you're saying it's just person- random. You're saying it's just random then. No, I I don't. I wouldn't say it's just random because it's just like how your thoughts are not, not random or determined. Yeah, I, I think that I think that if they're not determined, they're random, right? I take so wait, if it's determined, a dichotomy. So wait, so you believe your determined thoughts are rational? Yeah. And who determined that? What do you mean, who? I mean, something determined, programmed, or like made all your thoughts to be rational. By determined, I don't mean that that there's an agent that determines it. Well, what determined it? Causal antecedents. Causal, and, and, and was that rational? What do you mean, was that rational? Well, okay, so rational ideas come from rational places, right? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Ideas come from rational okay. places. In, in other words, order comes from order. Reason comes from reason. I have to. I, there has to be a good reason for why you believe what you believe or think. It didn't come out of nowhere, right? Yeah, there are reasons for why I believe what I believe. 
Sure. Right. But but like to the nth degree, where it comes from, like the amoeba or some kind of evolutional evolutionary stage, it had to come from some reasonable, rational, thoughtful th place, right? Well, that doesn't follow. It doesn't follow? It, it, no. See, the whole thing doesn't follow because at some degree, you cannot explain why your rationale makes sense now, starting starting back all the way to, to from evolution or the Big Bang. You can't explain it. Uh, I mean, nobody could explain rationality uh, in terms of um, in terms of uh, an infinite series of causal antecedents. And that's right? my point. Because there, yeah, the point is it's going to be brutally contingent no matter what, because it's not derivable that's from the axioms. It's not derivable from the axioms of logic, right? So you're going to have brute contingency somewhere in the chain. And so that's I don't my understand point. Yes, yeah, so I don't understand what the relevance of that is because it's a brute contingency. Because you're asking me to do that. that. Brother no, Jack, are you a I'm theist? You no, I'm not. You're asking okay. me to actually no, explain the, the, the rationale or how, how and why she made that choice to like the nth degree. I can't go beyond exactly no, you're not on, you're like, not how she thought everything. The problem. You're not understanding the problem, right? If, in fact, she did what she did because she understood correctly that it was the best thing to do, right? That wouldn't be a violation of her rationality, right? <clears throat> there's nothing about the rebellion. fact that, that there's nothing about the fact that that's deterministic that interferes with her rationality, right? What you're saying is that um, she's irrational for no reason. There's no explanation for it. Well, no, not that there's no reason. And I just, don't I just I can't if there's explain no that. explanation for it. But you're saying there's an explanation that you just don't know? No, I'm saying there's explanations, but there's a point where you can't go any further. Just like how you, there's no explanation behind where yeah, all your determined yeah, views I, come from. I already from. addressed that. It's like you're not listening, right? Yeah, what and I'm, I'm saying, saying it's the is, same answer as yours. No, you're not listening, right? What I'm saying is you can give a reason, right, for why somebody does something. You can say, oh, um, they perceived some value correctly, right? And they therefore, through that perception, judged that they should be in accord with it, right? That's it, right? I don't need to ask any further questions, right? There's no mystery. And, then, okay, and I said she did it incorrectly. Yeah, and so what I'm asking is why did she perceive incorrectly if she was designed, right? Um, you said to it was be a mystery. Able to perceive the... things correctly, right? She was designed to be able to perceive things correctly, not incorrectly, right? Right. She was designed to do that, but also the element was choice. She, God, designed the person to actually choose to see things incorrect, incorrectly. Okay, so you're saying she perceived correctly now? I'm saying that she, she had the potential to perceive correctly and also okay. look at things but the wrong way. did she perceive correctly? No, she did not because of choice. Okay. Right, so she was designed to perceive correctly, but she perceived incorrectly. That's what you're saying, right? I, I guess the way I'm saying it is um, God is giving you, like, uh, I guess, uh, he, he's, he's giving you uh, eyelids, but he, he also made your eyes to see. Now, it's your choice to close your eyes. Was she designed to perceive correctly? Yeah, just like she was designed to see, right. but she chose she to close to her eyes. She designed to perceive correctly, right? And God is infallible, right? Well, do you understand the idea of choice? Not the way, you are, not the way you're using it. Doesn't make okay, so how am I using you're it? You're saying a choice is some kind of random event. Yeah. Okay, so do you believe choice is a determinative event? Yeah. Okay, so how does determined and choice make this it just actually are coherent? What's the inconsistency? 
Okay, because if someone is making your choice, it's not your choice. Well, why would I accept that? Because you're saying it's determined. So what? Which means they're contradictory. You can't say that I'm making What's choices based on... The contradiction is you can't say you're in control of your choices when someone else is controlling it. Why would I accept... Wait, I didn't say anybody else was controlling it. You, when you say determined, that means you're not the one making those choices. No, Something else is. No, all that determined means is that the uh, event, the, the choice, is explained by causal antecedents. That's all that I mean by determined. So your choices are caused by yeah. other things before you, before you made those choices, right? Yeah. Do you have control of those things that cause you to make those choices? I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, so let's say you were born in Africa, right? And in Africa, you, you, you end up becoming a voodoo priest. Just because you were born there, did you have control yeah. of that? Did you, you did? You had control of, of your the context in which in you were Africa? born? No. Yeah, no. So that's the things that's causing you to actually become the who, who you are. Yeah. You're saying, so you're saying that the things that cause that is what's making you make those choices, but you don't have control of the cause. You don't have control of that. That's controlling you. I'm, I, what I'm saying is, is that I don't see why saying that a person has control over their actions requires something that's logically impossible, right? Which is that they have control over all the causal antecedents that precede their actions, right? Well, I think I, I rest my case. I think I made my case very clear. Okay, great. No, so your no. case was that you don't have, you haven't been able to show a contradiction in my view. You just begged the question against it. That's your case, right? So now I'm still trying to understand in any case, what my view is, is not relevant, right? I'm just trying to understand. Someone might have to speak for him because he, yeah, if you're, you're breaking up, up brother. Yeah, you're, you're uh, matrixing, uh, hey, Jack. Uh, brother Justin. Sorry, were you talking to me? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. yeah, the last thing you said, Jack, you were cutting out, brother. Uh, what I said was, I'm trying to understand how if God is infallible, right? He could, and he's designed Eve to perceive correctly, that Eve could perceive incorrectly. That just means that God failed. Right? That's just a uh, And Justin, how, how, yeah, Justin, how do you feel like you answered that satisfactorily? What, what what he said, what was your answer to that? I answered it. I answered it is that God, he succeeded in making perfect beings and he also made them free will. He, he gave them freedom. Now, the the point where they, the humans made the mistake is based on their their fallibility. They could have made a mistake and they could choose to do otherwise, such as making the right choice versus making the wrong choice. So that is, it's, it's not about God failing, it's about humans failing. Now, he wants to put this on God as though God is the one pulling the strings, but God is not the one pulling the strings on them. Uh, from a determined mindset, that's how, they, that's the only way they can understand things. So if, if Adam and Eve sin, you have to blame God because God is the one determined everything. But because they can't separate um, what God does from what humans do, then we're going to keep talking past each other because he just doesn't believe in, I guess, free will that is not caused uh, by something else, you know, that is like not controlling everybody's choices. Yeah, so that's not an answer to my question, no. right? My, my question was, if God designed them to perceive correctly, right? His aim was for them to perceive correctly, and they perceived incorrectly, and God is infallible. That's a contradiction, because that means God failed. Okay, well, see, the, you... the, way, the way you're basing your, your question, Jack, there's only one way to answer it in an acceptable fashion to you. 
and that is by saying God failed. And then you would go did, into did, why did that he, is correct. Did he succeed in right. having Eve perceive correctly, given that he designed them to do that? Succeed? Well, I mean, if your choice, just a yes or if no I question. give you a choice to do something, even even if even if I know the outcome, if I give you a choice to do something, and you commit to that choice uh, to either yay or nay, perception. how how is that a failure for me? Talking about perception. Exactly. So that, that exactly. So, what's the answer so listen to, to what question? I'm saying. If what's the answer to the my The answer question? is no. Yes. He didn't fail. He yes. did not fail. So his aim was for Eve to perceive correctly. Eve perceived incorrectly, and that's a success. She perceived correctly. Then she deceived oh, wait, herself and perceived incorrectly. She perceived correctly. Okay. Now because you're I'm saying she perceived correctly. Okay. I'm saying. Okay, what? So it's let, not let a me, failure let me, of let me say this. that explains, wait, so now you, oh. I was proceeding under the assumption, right, because I thought I heard you say, and maybe other people here can confirm that I heard this, that you said that she perceived incorrectly. So now you're That's saying correct. she perceived correctly. So the well, failure who, 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 who said failure that? Who, who said in, that? Sorry, the failure, the failure, the guy I was talking to, okay. failure is not a failure in perception. That's great. Okay, so she perceived. No, 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 no. She, See, this is the problem. Sorry, did You're... she perceive correctly? Yes or no? Okay, so she did not perceive yes no correctly. Okay, I'm so saying yes, and then it's a it's a no perceived. afterward. So is it is it so deception? She perceived correctly, and she misperceived. Okay, you you won't let me answer the question. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna ask the questions because you just you just you just keep changing everything that you say every minute no right? so when so I, let's just get it clear don't over talk me let's just get it clear. well you're over talking okay. me. yeah did she perceive correctly yes or no so so that you heard my the first yes answer no question did she okay perceive jack correctly, i think jack yes is becoming no? unhinged okay all right, so, all right real yeah, quick you're jack. Unhinged because you're a fucking dodger did she perceive yeah, jack. correctly yes or no Jack, did he yes did he no question. did he answer did he answer no at first and now he's saying yes or he said yes and then yeah, he said no? Me I'm that sorry. She perceived incorrectly right. before, and I was yeah. trying to understand how if she was designed to perceive correctly, she could end up perceiving incorrectly because that right. would imply that God was fallible. That's right. right now, all of a sudden, two minutes ago, he suddenly says, "Oh no, she didn't perceive incorrectly." Right. So, so let's just get it clear. There's a simple yes or no question. It's not a simple like yes or no question. Yes, yeah. You stop over talking. No, 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 no. So okay. I, I have like to do this. I have to do this to pacify you. Did she perceive? Okay, Jack. Correctly? Jack. Stop you're not. Okay, real quick, real quick. No, real you're quick. over here. Right. 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 Jack, 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 Jack. Have you met? Yeah. Jack, have you? Do you have a history with Justin? Or I? Because I don't. It, I mean, no, I don't. I have I don't, no history with him. At least not that okay. I can recall. Right. All right. And it's pretty clear I'm, that he's a completely dishonest dodger, right? Uh, so, so now, and j so just what's to the be clear, the question. Well, just to be clear, Jack. I mean, I know you and Justin, and I have a uh, great deal of respect for both of you guys. So uh, it's a bummer that this How is happening. How can you have respect for this dishonest dodger? He, he's never he done that. Him? Oh, you see him well, doing just, it now. Get him to stop. Right. Okay. No, you're cutting me off to question. answer your question. Did she perceive oh. correctly or not? Okay, can we can we do like a time thing, Jack? Is that cool or 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 what? I, I mean, because I'm trying. Okay, yes Justin. Question. All right, Justin, can you just give him a yes or no and then qualify it afterwards? Yeah. So I've been trying to qualify, but he won't let me. But yes, I said yes. She, she okay, he said correctly. yes, Jack. He said Great. yes. Okay. Now we can move on from there. Okay, she I appreciate it. Okay. Correctly, she perceived correctly. So it's not a failure of perception that explains. So can I? Why? Sorry. It's not a failure of ex uh, of perception that explains, right, why she thought the apple was good to eat, right, rather than a bad thing for her to eat, right? She perceived correctly that it was not a good thing to eat. Is that correct? Okay. So no, that's not correct. That's, that that. That's not so, correct. So let me qualify. I you just so said that she hold on, you, you, the the agreement. I you just said that she perceived correctly. Justin, that's contradiction. So hold on, is he allowed? Justin, is, it, is the apple a good thing? Can I? Can eat? you yes. allow me no. to speak? I think it's a no. allow me to speak. I want you to know because you're just you're just gonna obfuscate. Okay, hold. So here's the question. What do you call? 
Is so the how do you communicate? Is the apple okay. a good thing to eat? Yes or no? Yes no, it's not no? a good... It's it not was good not thing. good... Did she perceive correctly that it's not a good thing to you eat? Got, you got to get... Yes no, or no? he's trying to answer, yes Jack. Yes or no? He, he did say no. Yes okay, no? you might have to, he did you might no. have to yes mute him no? because he, he doesn't have control of himself. I, well, here's the thing. You're not fucking answering the question. I don't want to mute either of you guys. I don't want to mute either of you guys. Yes. But, Jack, Andrew, I mean... Can you ask him? Can you ask yeah. him? Yes or no? Right. Okay. Did she J perceive correctly? You're repeating that yourself. Not a good thing to J eat? Jack, if, if he if he answers yes or no, will you let him qualify? Will you just give him some time yeah, to qualify? He can say whatever he wants. Okay. All right. Go ahead, J okay. Justin. Can you, can you please just say right. yes or no and then qualify? No, no, I already said yes so many times, and then I've been trying to explain why I said yes. So here's what I've been trying to say. The element of choice is always taken out of the matter. So when I say yes, God made them with perfect perception, they also have the choice to actually, um, you know, pretty much override that perfect perception and decide, you know what, let me not go by the my perception or at least what it actually should be showing me and go by something that is less logical by faith. And they decided to put faith in the wrong thing. So when they actually looked at the fruit, their perception, which is basically, hey, this is the good thing. This is the right thing to eat. It was wrong in the sense that they were not supposed to eat it based on command. Their senses told them it was the right thing, but not the, the truth. So, yes, it wasn't about perception in the sense that like what they saw, what they smelt and everything. It, it, it didn't say it was an alarming but the thing is it was the faith that was wrong so that was i was trying to that's what i was trying to say you're just so fucking dishonest i just that, that was it. justin that was shameful actually yeah, how do you override perfect perception how do you do that <laughs> okay real, 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 real quick now, look, now, wait. Now, now he's saying, can i say this now real, he's saying I, he's saying he's saying she correctly perceived right that the apple was bad to eat, that she should not eat the apple. She was under no illusions, right, that the apple, at least by her perception, by the deliverances of her perception, right, the deliverances of her perception were in no way, right, deceptive. She saw perfectly well, right, with her moral perceptive faculties that the apple was bad to eat. Great. So she's perceived that the apple is bad to eat. Now, the next question is, given that she saw that the apple was bad to eat, what explains why she ate it anyway? If that's not a failure of her ability to reason, right? To reason practically, which presumably she was designed to correctly reason, right? She was designed to reason practically correctly reason as a rational agent to draw the correct conclusions from her deliberations, right? Not the incorrect conclusions from her deliberations. So given that she had accurate information, right? She understood that the apple was bad to eat, right? And given that she could reason correctly as a practical agent, right? How is it that she came to act in a way out of accord with reason, if not from failure, right, of her uh, cognitive faculties. Um, yeah, so Justin, I mean, I, I definitely, you know, I, I think you should respond to that. But I mean, if this, if this is becoming too hostile, Jack, I mean, if you're up, if there's somebody else that you trust to engage with Justin and understands what your point well, he's is. The only one, he's the only one saying this garbage. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, in my history with Justin, I've never had I've never, uh, you know, uh, perceived him as being dishonest. I think he's yeah, trying to and honestly. What do you, and what do you think now? Well, I think he's trying to answer this the best he can. And I think you're very sharp. That's what, Jack, he's, been and doing, I, that's what he's been I, doing these past 10 minutes is trying I the best he, he can to answer honestly rather than fucking dodge. Are you fucking kidding me, Andrew? Can, can uh, Jack, maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm totally open to that. I'm not trying to be dishonest to you right now. I'm honestly no, saying. No, I know you're just too nice, Andrew. Okay. You're too nice. I know okay. you're not. Okay, okay, so, so is there some, so Jack, like Daniel seems to chime in and say the same thing that you're saying. 
Is there a way that we could just kick it to Jack or to Daniel real quick and just see what he says about what's happening here? Because I also appreciate his input on it. Are you cool with that? Just to see what he says about what, what just happened just between you and Justin? I mean, that's fine, but I just want an answer to that question. Okay, yeah. Which is, if she reasoned correctly, if, sorry, if she perceived correctly and she was designed to reason correctly, right? She was designed to function properly as a rational agent, right? Given that she was not mistaken in her perceptions of the apple, how is it that given that she understood through her perception that the apple was a bad thing to eat, that nonetheless she ate it? How is that not a malfunction? Justin, are you there? Yeah, because I would just say that the answer is choice. You can make a choice to actually go by your perception, whether they're correct or reasonable or rational. And you can also go against it or for it. Either way, your choice can actually contradict like your perfect, um, I guess, uh, software. If you even had, if you were ever programmed, you can actually go against the program by choice. How is that different from saying that nothing explains it? Well, that's why I was saying that as far as choices, you cannot fully explain choices, just like how you can't explain choices, whether you'd say it was determined or caused by something else. It sounds like yeah, you're just saying I, that she's I, choosing to be irrational. Yeah, she's just for no reason, right, for no reason whatsoever, that's right, right. does what's contrary to reason. That's what you're saying, that there's no, no. reason whatsoever why she does why she why she does what she understands she ought not do right so uh, yeah so i have a question to you jack so like if you were tempted to do something that you know is irrational but you're tempted to do it because you have a strong lust for that particular thing whatever it is wouldn't that be enough reason quote unquote to do it even though it's not really the most logical thing to do you know it's not wise but wouldn't that be enough or hold on can i say something real quick here jack well eve didn't know the difference between good and evil she didn't know that disobeying God was an evil thing. I mean, the, the easy answer, just is God, God knew it happened. God wanted it to happen. And he put a stake there just to seal the deal. I mean, the whole thing's entrapment. Eve was set up. She was set to fail. Adam was set to fail, and they were set to be kicked out of the garden. I think that's just the easiest answer. God's omniscient. He knew it would happen. He set up the garden knowing they'd fall because that's what God wanted. Exactly. That's how this started. So... So, but, but Jack, did you hear what I just asked you? Did yeah, you but temptation, did you hear? I, it just seems to me that in, if temptation is not a case of um, some disposition overriding your rationality, it's got to be that in the moment you're incorrectly thinking that um, something is more desirable than something else and are mistaken about that. Um, I mean, couldn't it, 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 it is more desirable in the moment, right? I mean, it is more desirable, but it's not yeah, something so that, that just is- that means, look, if you think the good is an action guiding norm, right, then it must be that you're thinking that something is better than it is to do something that you have less reason to do. Is there a right or wrong way to perceive it? Well, I'm, I'm granting them for the sake of argument that there's a right, thank you. I'm granting them for the sake of argument that there's a right or wrong oh, okay. way to perceive okay. it. Yeah. Because on their view, presumably, yeah, they, they they're would proceeding want that. with a view like that, right? So the question is, if she's perceiving incorrectly, Sorry, if she's perceiving correctly, how could she, right, if she's designed to properly reason, right, correctly, how could she do what's contrary to her own judgment? Or how could she come to have the wrong judgment, right? Either option seems inconsistent with the idea that God designed her with perfectly functioning cognitive, perceptive, and moral faculties. Or that God isn't is fallible. I mean, even well, worse. yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just assuming that option is off the table. But, uh, Jack, I'm hey, sorry. Hey, How hey, do guys. we assume she had perfect moral faculties? 
That's Justin's view. Oh. Yeah, but, hey, guys, I wish I could talk, talk more, but I have to head out to work. But appreciate I, the combo. Yeah, yeah thanks, Justin. Yeah. Stay Let's slimy. Let's do it again soon, man.